a wonderful fruity nose. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new expression from Ochentoschen called Blood Oak. And this bottle appeared in 2015 in the travel value together with a bottle called Noble Oak. And the Noble Oak is vintage 1990 and 24 years old. And this one carries no age statement. Well, and is the cheaper one. This Noble Oak, uh, I think I've never seen one of those in reality. Um, cost 200 to 300 and quite expensive. I think one of the oldest uh, Hontoschen available today. And this Blood Oak is, as I said, no age statement, 46% ABV, unchill filtered, but quite an expensive price tag of 50, 75. Yeah. <clears throat> blood oak. Why do you call a bottle blood oak? Is it like blood diamonds? Oak <laughs> cut by slaves. No. Uh, blood oak just comes from my point of view uh, from the color it delivers to the whiskey and uh, it's from French wine. This whiskey is matured in ex-bourbon casks and then finished in French wine casks. And I suggest it's red wine casks and therefore there's a little bit of uh, a red hue in this whiskey. Uh, but I'm afraid it's colored. Um, and then it says uh, headstrong casks. What does that mean? Headstrong? if you have too much <laughs> getting a headache or do they have changed the heads or the ends of the casks against uh, different fresh wood no i don't think so because it's they want to have the taste of the french wine so i just think it's the red color those french red wine casks deliver yeah here it says headstrong cask fine red wine and american bourbon dramatic and smooth american bourbon hogsheads hogshead means refill so they were uh, torn in pieces dismantled and then built up again in a little more volume uh, fashion mm. and typically those are refill casts because those dismantling and uh, putting together the staves again had been done until the 90s. After that the transportation of cask became so cheap with the big container carriers coming up uh, that the well the manpower for uh, building the casks was much higher than the amount of money you had to pay uh, for shipping the casks from the US to Scotland. Tasting notes, ruby gold, that's true. To the nose, raspberry, plums and maraschino sherry. On the tongue, blood orange, oh, blood orange, that might be also a reason for blood. But blood orange comes from the distillery character, from the uh, stills and the procedure you produce the whiskey. And uh, it's called blood oak. So it might not be the blood oranges. With nutmeg and ginger to the end, red currant with a lingering oak spice. Here we go. <clears throat> it's a travel value exclusive, but it's small, not a full liter, as is typical in the, uh, in the travel value. Uh, this is less, it's typically 70 centiliters bottle. <sighs> A wonderful fruity nose and these maraschino sherries are 
present. And the alcoholic node, the 46% ABV, they mix together with the sherries to those maraschino sherry taste. Wonderful. Plums, well, but dried plums. Raspberries. Mm. No. But there is a spicy note already in the back coming from the French wood of the French casks. Yeah. Oops, there's some youthness of the spirit covering my mouth, but typically the uh, threefold distilled single malt whiskies do not have these problems because they are distilled to such a high ABV of 80% that they typically do not have this, this young and slightly metallic note. This one has. Mm -hmm. Ginger with a good spiciness and the blood orange, mm, no. Nutmeg, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blood oranges, a lot. So I would have done wrong to this whiskey by sipping just once. So the blood orange is there and this covering of my mouth, this metallic note is completely gone. It's covered by the spiciness of the ginger, by the blood orange and the other spices of, if this is nutmeg or not, can't tell you. And in the aftertaste, there's the French oak. Not too, too bitter, no. It has been in the oak probably for a shorter time. And fruitiness still present. Yeah, wonderful piece. A young, unaged, or unaged is wrong, uh, without an explicit age statement uh, bottle might not be that bad. No, this one is, well, is heavily loaded by the French oak. So this is really a good one. Feel free to share this video with your friends. And if you have questions, please ask them in our vlog or in our forum on whiskey.com. Thank you.